it's part of the crowd that has come here at uh, the Nkoloma Stadium Monday afternoon football. But of course, you're watching this game live on a public service broadcaster, ZMBC TV One, just for you. So out come the two teams accompanied by the CAF anthem. So then, any time from now, you should be having the Zambia National Anthem. And of course, uh, this is uh, the rest squad in green tops and uh, shorts. And of course, uh, the pop and black shorts being the chant team. So we shall be slowly pausing for the National Anthem. And of course, uh, the first president, uh, Andrew Kamanga, just uh, meeting the two teams and uh, the match officials this afternoon. Of course, the chant team captain by Bruce Musakanya. And uh, the Prison Leopards' first choice goalkeeper is uh, Charles Kalumbo is in goal, Dominic Chanda, Leonard Mulenga, Keche, Kelvin Kemuka, rather, Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba, and uh, of course, uh, Colin Sikombe, Benedict Chepeshi, Lauren Mafuenta is in next, uh, Jack Chilwa, and Imano uh, Cherry Chabula completing the first 11 for the four stars. So, on the other side now, it's uh, the Chan team that is that uh, was once captained by Adrian Chama. Now, the fans select he's the captain, Alan Chiwe Dixon Chaba from. Napsa stars Kelvin Kapum, Faxon Kapum, rather Spencer Sautu, Clement Muape Mulaishi, Jimmy Belek in Lovu, there's Gift Zulu, Robin Siame from Green Buffaloes, Harrison Chisala, and Roger Kola. So it's a strong squad, also, that the fans, uh, of course, are uh, very opinionated when it came to them. Uh, deciding uh, who should be the first eleven next to the first president is uh, the first general secretary, Adrian Kashala, and uh, technical director being uh, licensed Zulu. So we now pause for the Zambia National Anthem where we stand and sing of Zambia proud and free.
So welcome back to the Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia. We're done with the formalities for this uh, important match. It's called uh, the Championship of African Nation Chant Team up against the Fans Select Team. So let's share with you the two teams lineups, shall we? Because uh, starting with the Austin's team under the tutelage of Militin Micho Srodovic, in goal is Charles Kalumba from uh, Prison Leopards. Benedict Chepe, she pride once uh, in terms of the defense, complemented by Gordon Mafuenta, Dominic Chan in the midfield and so is Leonard Silunga two defensive midfielders and of course up front the likes of Bruce Msakanya who's captain in the team Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba and uh, Colin Sikombe to lead the attack and supplement Imano Cherry Chabola the fans select uh, have got Alan Chiwe in goal gift Zulu Kapumbu Faxon Clement Mwap and Adrian Chama in defense the central defense will have uh, Dixon Central midfield of Dixon Chapa and uh, Spencer Sawatu Chisala to support right behind Jimmy Belek in love, Roger Kola and Robin Siame. <laughs> So then, this is uh, the coach for the fans select, Wetson Yerenda, the 54-year-old uh, former Zambia National Soccer Team coach. He was in charge of uh, the Chipolo Polo from 14th September 2016 to May 24, 2018. And one of the stories about him is uh, having managed to guide Zambia to beat Algeria, both home and away. And that's one story that uh, the many fans do talk about. So it is the select side that will be defending the goal on the left on your screen in all green and welcome you officially to the Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia for this Chan team versus select match and I'm your match commentator Martin Bankonje alongside me is uh, a very special guest this afternoon in Tandika, Chilo will be taking us through the expert analysis this afternoon. So it's good to have you Ch uh, Chilo in commentary position. I'm working with you for the very first time and straight on just a perfect matchup you feel between these two sides. Well, I'm in the first place, I'm delighted, uh, Martin Bakonde, uh, to make this debut and to be with you, one of the outstanding TV commentators. But all in all, I think this is a good match. Uh, we had to see them as they size each other because we are talking of a provisional chant team selected by Coach Mitchell versus the rest of that. So we are now attack is on already by the the rest team, and it all just came out of the blocks. It was uh, gift Zulu was given an opportunity and uh, want up, up went uh, Roger Kola. So an early attempt, clearly the intention by the fans select is to probably get an early goal here. Indeed, uh, they want to register their presence as early as possible because the fans are backing them. So we had to see the best of, the, of them. Now the all stars uh, start uh, at the back here with uh, Dominic Chanda. And again, uh, hoping to make progression. It doesn't come through. Kemuka back pass to Chanda. Happy to look for progression up front. Uh, still just keeping possession in their own half is uh, the Chan team. And if there's one player that they'll really look out for to create chances for them will be Kelvin Mumanga Kampamba. Apologies about uh, some uh, breaking communication at some point, but uh, this is good play now by Chisala, although possession is retained again. 
Clement Moape, Molaishi. Zulu has already made the run on the on the right. He loves to overlap to give Zulu the Inkana right back. An opportunity to whip in a cross hesitation. Finds Spencer South to good dummy as well. Chapa. Dixon. Molaishi. Zulu. It's all the fans side at the moment and really this is what the fans were hoping for. Adrian Sharma. To the left finds uh, Faxon Kapumbu. Sautu. So really, on account of possession, it's the fan side that are really showing dominance. Ball is meant for Zulu, but it was overcooked. Still kept alive by Harrison Chisala. He's got two players to him. Only now is possession won by Sikombe. Mubanga. Leonard Mulenga. Chanda looking for a second ball, but uh, this should be easily be dealt with by Mulaishi. Throw in for the Chan team. Well, indeed, uh, we've seen a little bit of impact there from Chawula, but the, 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 as it is, the fan select team is trying to make an impact and to show that actually they can do it. It is all composed with most of experienced players, as it is. Well, most importantly also, Tandika, is that uh, the players that are in the fan select are those that at one point or another have had an opportunity to play for the national team proper. Silu, uh, Mulenga, rather, one-touch football. That was a good pass from Sikombe, but nicely picked up now by the fans select with Robin Siame. Pelek was second to the ball. Nicely stopped by Gordon Mafuenta. Musakanya. Let's see now reaction time for the fans. Uh, uh, the Chan team that have really been uh, on the back foot for most part of this match. Benedict Chepeshi. Second ball now for cleared out by Moape. Pelek comes out to help. The chest is on for the ball with Roger Kola, but uh, good cover at the back, so it will be a throw in for the select side, rather for the Chan team. Jack Chilwa. Sikombe. Remember, this uh, other team has been in camp for a long time now. Second ball. This is a good build up to the left now. The cross would do well. But nicely chested by Sautu. And there was a high boot that came through from uh, Domini uh, from Pride Mansa. Huh? Speaking of which, Sautu yesterday was red carded in the game against uh, Power Dynamos when they took on uh, Zanako Football Club. Yeah, indeed, it was a bad game. But looking at that, the way the flow of the game, I think we are seeing that it will be an explosive one from the look of things. Already, Tandiko, we're beginning to see a bit of physical play. Exactly. There's a lot of pride at stake. Also, remember that these uh, two sets, the V V V. Level V, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> know each other very well. Yeah, Pride Mwansa. Mulenga. Chiavula. Second ball meant for Kemuka. And a foul by Harrison Chisala. So, a good chance, a good position. And I'll tell you what, Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Kemuka likes to shoot from that position. And you'll probably be reddishing to take this one. Yeah, indeed. He's a good player. And we are waiting to see uh, the best out of that. I think he should be the favorite to take it. And uh, we will see the reaction, obviously, from the Chan team as things stand. What is interesting, both captains have been at one club, Red Arrows, Bosum Sagan and Dadi and Chama, who at Azesco United Club. So it's very interesting. Let's watch Mubanga will get out of this. Of course, uh, Adrian was once captain for the Green Eagles side, but it's uh, for the Green Buffalo side. It's a set-piece situation now with Mubanga Kampamba oh. and West Chance. Yeah, indeed, that's the West free kick I've seen from uh, Mubanga Kampamba. We hope you will settle down and uh, make a good one. Well, that was a wasted chance uh, from Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Yeah, it was. I mean, the way they shot, it was way, way, way blunder. Now, back to action. And it's uh, the Chan team already beginning to show dominance. Good tackle from uh, Faxon Kapumbu. Chisala finds Robin Siame. Chisala receives the return pass. Second ball meant for Siame on the left. Looking for an early progression. Cola and team. Taken out by Pride Mwansa. Back pass from Benedict Chepeshi. One of the last few Zambian players that are in action this afternoon that uh, last played at the Cup of Nations. The very last time that Zambia qualified to the Cup of Nations. So, so many fouls being committed and referee Evans Mulenga will not allow any of that to continue. Already beginning to look more like a stop-start situation uh, thus far. Yeah, indeed. The obvious the Chan team have to take it. But I think it would appear Siame is the darling of the crowd so far from the other side. I was hoping to keep it in play, Emmanuel Cherry Chabula. But the pace of the ball and uh, 
could not match up with the, the speed and just trying to keep it in there. Chibwe Allen. On Wednesday, on this same pitch, this uh, Green Eagles goalkeeper picked the ball twice behind the back, the back of the net as Eagles were beaten 2 new at home by Coron Sport of Cameroon, the team that is based in Garua. Good defensive work by Jack Chilwa. Chepesh, second ball for his former captain at Arrows, Bruce Musakanya. This is good play by the Chan team. A cross would have done well first time because there was enough space. Finds Musakanya. Opportunity yeah. here to go into the box. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What a miss. What a miss chance here. Yeah. A throw in now to the OS fans select team. Looks like a foul throw, but the referee allowed it to go on. Direct football is what this team on the other side is playing with Chiabola. Taken wide to Chepesh. Chilwa Jack. Good switch play. It was meant for Kampamba. Throw in. Well, unfortunately, the ball has gone to the west. So obviously, Jack Chirua so far is outstanding uh, in the middle of the pack. And we have to see the response, of course, from uh, Kampamba Mbanga on the front. So we're slowly marching to 10 minutes of the first stanza here, but nothing to show for in terms of the goals. Chisala keeps it alive, finds Beleki. And uh, a foul against... Uh, Gordon Mafuenta. That is going to be a throw in from this position uh, on this beautiful Monday afternoon. Set piece situation. It is Faxon Kapumbu just lining up to get this one. Looks like one of those long drives uh, because uh, the fans select have really pushed in a lot of numbers. It's a good switch play, I must say, as well, to give Zulu. Saul to Spencer. Cuts inside, looking for where to, press, uh, to pass the ball. Corner. Siame waits for the attack to come through from Kapumbu. Corner it is. Well, it is a corner kick as things stand, and you have to see what the Chan team uh, is going to defend uh, versus the select. The select, obviously, they are going to have a, a corner kick as things stand, and the, as you can see, and here the fans are busy cheering, and we are able to see the best uh, out of that corner kick. So it's the first corner kick of the match, Matimba. All right, so first corner this afternoon. And it is uh, the fans select with this opportunity. They've got numbers as well. The likes of Roger Kohler who really fancy themselves to try to connect from such a position. As you can see, there's a bit of pulling of shirts there. Spencer Sau to they take a short one now. Sporting at the far post opportunity. And uh, what a missed chance. And it was Clement Muape. Second time now, Maluda Sikombe. Out come uh, the select side who really are showing a lot of composure. Saul to now for the Fans select, going through a maze of players. Siam is calling for the ball. This is good switch play. Finds Kapumbu. Looking for that long ball. And it grazes the net. Oh, it did not look dangerous. But Faxon Kapumbu almost catching Charles Kalumbo off guard. So experience really showing. He had sighted where the goalkeeper had uh, stood. And that's another letter for Tandika. Matimba, I mean, we know obviously what he's able to do, Akapumbu, and this has been the, one of the best left backs we've had in the league. Suppose that he may just force the coach to look at him again. He's experienced definitely, he has national caps before, and he is a seasoned uh, left footer. So we hope that he, he could be an additional, because right now, Vias Kochimitu has had uh, Zakaria Chilongoshi. Well, and interesting, you're talking about Zakaria Chilongoshi, Benson Sakala, Chaniza Zulu. They all made it late uh, for this afternoon's match. Remember yesterday they went action as uh, Power Dynamos beat uh, Zanako by two goals to one. So not part of the team this afternoon. And clearly also the same can be said about the fans select. Donashano Malama out injured. Imayuka, we're told, is also injured. So not part of the team. And so that's how come there have been a few inclusions. Late inclusions, we must say. Good dummy from Saoto. He's now calling for the second ball. Chance now. Brought inside. Opportunity for Chisala. Second ball looking for Kola. And uh, what good stop play there by Pride Mwansa. So then, 
The link player suddenly shown by the select side. Dixon Chapa. Chisala. Harrison. Cola Roger. Wide now. Finds gift Zulu. This is good football. Brought inside. Opportunity take a shot and goes wide. They're really doing this interplay very well. And uh, against the run of play, at some point it almost looked, you can see the appreciation, the likes of Monga. There was a point when it really looked like it was the, the Chan team that would start pulling up the strings and dominating play. But oh boy, oh boy, we're certainly in for some exciting game this afternoon, Tandika. Yeah, indeed, uh, Martin, but we've seen the fan select team pushing and they really struck a string of passes. A very beautiful football. And of course, Roger Colas are the poor finishing. So we're yet to see more, I think, as uh, the time progresses on the pitch. Out come the Chan team with Gordon Mafuenta. Sikombe. Chepeshi. They've been forced to play back and deep in their own half, uh, this uh, Chan team. It's about being overawed by the names that are in this other team. Mubanga Kampamba comes out. Good reaction from Alan Chiwe because uh, the fans' team had uh, pushed a lot of numbers forward in the process, losing out now. Musakanya looking for a chance here. Are we in for the opener here? Good blockade by Kapumbu. Quickly gets uh, Belek into the attack. Back pass now. And uh, almost uh, proving to be, almost resulted in somewhat uh, what could have been uh, a, a situation of having the ball go behind the back of the net because uh, Charles Kalumba really ventured out of his line. Sauter. Roger Kona now going to the byline. And a foul clearly. So Sauter there is proving to be a handful, and uh, Dominic Changa, Chanda really not having it easy going to be a busy afternoon for the Cabo Warriors number 21. Well, indeed, uh, and we've seen South with what he's able to do. I mean, this is a player at one point who captain Green Eagles and he's got continental competition. He's played in cup games and he indeed uh, he's played in the national team. And as things stand now, he is really giving trouble on the right flank. So we had to see the free kick is going to take and how the uh, Chan team is Set piece situation taken by Sao to goalkeepers come out. This should be easy pickings because the goalkeeper called and he collected. So almost quarter of an hour here played at uh, the Nkoloma Stadium. The likes of Spencer Sao to really have been uh, very busy this afternoon and uh, shows how much uh, players, some of them in the fan select, are hoping that they may just get the final call to make the and uh, find a seat in that. Uh, Playing that will be going to Cameroon. Once uh, Lenganda, a lot of pressure from Harrison Chisala. Of course, Chisala and uh, Leonard Mlengo were once uh, together in the Zambia under 20 team, then that was preparing for the 2017 uh, tournament. Yeah, indeed. And we've seen Chisala obviously trying to make a mark because we've seen a lot of the silence in the under 23. But again, we've seen him playing very well for Nkana and now. In this uh, fan select, we've seen him playing very well in this team, which has been selected by the coach, and we hope that he's saying something to his supporters. Ah, another attack by the fan select finds Harrison Chisala. He held on to possession too much in the process, allowed uh, the Chan team or the All Stars to come through. Sikombe. Point to Bruce Musakanya today, operating on the right channel, Chepeshi. Has made the overlap across his body side. Nicely dealt with by Adrian Chama. Again, they'll start with the Pesi Robin Siame. Second ball now for Benek. This should be a chance now. As Cole has made an opportunity. Chance here. He's got his side and a corner it is. Oh, Roger Cole was hoping to pull the trigger. They've been they really been exploited, this Chan team. And especially they cannot seem to cope up with the fast pace on the left channel where Robin Siami is operating from. So then, yet another chance, but good reaction in terms of just that decisive stop. Yeah, indeed, uh, a good run obviously from uh, Siami there, but I think the problem has been Roger Kola. Roger Kola was waiting for the ball and was behind the defender, which for me, he should have dodged the defender, go up front and connected. It would have been an easy goal for him. Looking at him, he's got the height.
Still kept alive. It's us now, and he grazes the crossbar. The follow up set by the goalkeeper. Another follow up, and it goes wide. <laughs> oh, la la, we are used to some football here, I'll tell you. The Tan team is really under pressure. And this is what the fans were looking forward for. Wow. They are under siege, simply put, Chandika. Yeah, indeed, Diva team, but the team in Kovu appears to be the man of the moment. I mean, he has brought that pressure, and of course, they've been able to hit the crossbar as things stand. So they are sending a message to say, anytime from now, we should be able to score. They are searching for that critical goal. I mean, look at the play, very good and coordinated. Of course, we are seeing there from Madison Chisala, and the, of course, the keeper to be forced. Sikombe now finds uh, Misakanya. Second ball now, chance and goes wide. The offside flag had really gone up though from uh, second assistant Francis Siwaba. But just out of the block, it's like uh, the strategy for this uh, Stars team is to catch the rest on the break because clearly they're allowing their opponents to come at them. And when they've got an opportunity or chance to push numbers forward on a counter, probably catch them. Although so far you can say it hasn't worked because. Uh, like let's say possession is the one that sometimes or many a times win you matches because as long as you keep possession it means you can create opportunities yeah and that's the way to do matimba because when you possess the ball you are playing and you are invite your opponent and you can do anything and everything with the ball as long as you have the ball you are able to dictate the tempo of the game and this is what we've been seeing obviously the fans select doing in the middle of the pack and yet we are yet to see the chan uh, response of course one off we've seen three here and there but they haven't really settled and to, to make it happen. It's a bit of instruction coming there from uh, Wetson Nyerenda, the current coach for Lusaka Dynamos, but in charge of this rest squad. Gift Zulu. I just love the way this uh, fan select team is switching roles from the left and right. Clement Moape, Mulaish, Sautu. There's another quick pass, but still kept alive by Sautu. And again, foul committed by Leonard Mulenga. Really becoming uh, more of a frustrating game uh, for the Chan team. And as uh, referee Evans Mleng has uh, given instruction to off your screen, Harrison Chisala to go out and probably continue receiving some treatment from uh, off your screen. But that was how the foul was committed. Yeah. And, uh, yet another chance. We had saw an early attempt from Kapumbu. You fancy yourself that you might get this one again? Yeah, perhaps he should try, but I mean, we've seen obviously Leonard being trouble there, and so far Spencer Sautu has become the most fouled player uh, on the pitch, so we have to see more uh, dramas the, the minutes unfold. So there's a lot of interest there, yeah. Dixon Chapa, Clement Muape, and Faxon Kapumbu, I've seen them score from such positions for their team, but it's Chapa who takes one, and a save by the goalkeeper, it was suddenly headed for goal from Dixon Chapa. The Napsa captain meant business with that one. Oh, it was a good shot taken and uh, look at the movement and the reflexes of the goalkeeper. Indeed, they had to make a step and dive and save the ball. Long throw in, it is anticipated uh, from uh, Fatson Kapumbu. Those few that is known in the domestic league looking for Kola and uh, a foul in the meantime, so play will be stopped. This looks like the challenger from uh, Roger Kola, one of the three Kola brothers in the Zambian Super League. There's Roger Kola, Racha Kola, Damiano Kola. They're all playing in the Zambian Super Division. Of course, uh, Roger Kola, captain for the Zanako side. Gordon Mafuenta, Chilwa Jack, Isakanya. Played by this uh, Stars team, really predictable. Speaking of which, in 1996, there was an All Stars versus the rest match that was uh, Rothman's poor most sponsored then. In which, uh, after the match, the fans really made a lot of noise to have the inclusion of Shai Kumwenda, then who was on the books of uh, Zamshu Football Club and Kaylee's Paymaster Moaba. The All Stars team was then coached by the, the Danish Road Paulsen. So it's always matches like this. I remember in 1991, it was played at Shinde Stadium in Frida, and a strong squad that was put up as well. So the same can be said about this one, 24 years on. Musakanya to the byline, finds Benedict Chepeshi. Sikombe. Second ball was meant for Chepeshi, but did come to fusion. Foul on uh, 
Dixon Junior Chapa. Really, it shows that there's a lot of work that needs to be done between now and when the tournament kickstarts in Cameroon. Oh, yes, there, there is a lot of work, Matimba, right as you've observed. And of course, we are coming from a period of COVID 19 where it was active, but now we want to very much. And we hope that the technical bench has taken that. Wow, mistake there. by Zulu. Finds Kemoka, Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Up against Gift Zulu, corner it is. Well, they know each other very well in, in that uh, Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba research was teammates with Gift Zulu at Inkana Football Club. Of course, Kampamba has since moved to Zegamambo. So, second corner for the Stans team. She went out to be put to the test. He did get the highest number of votes in terms of the goalkeeping department from the fans. Of course, uh, the announcement for the select side was made on Saturday. Corner taken at the near post. Taken out by Spencer Sautu. Controlled nicely by Robin Siame. Mistake position is given away to Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Finds uh, Sikombe. Zulu is a bit uh, sluggish on this uh, left back position because. Uh, Looks like it's where the weakest link is. Second ball now for Chiavola. Headed out by Adrian Chama. The shot is expected here and wide. Okay. Shot came off from uh, Lena Dimulenga. The Green Buffalo's uh, midfielder. His young brother also beginning to dictate and uh, command first team position in the Young Buffalo side. Chest control bounces off from Roger Kola. Second ball now was made for Kola. Oh, Roger Kola been uh, fed on crumbs so far. That explains why we're not seeing so much action from him. Charles Kalumba. Chanda. Dominic. Kapumbu is beaten, but nicely picked up by Captain Adrian Chama. Oh, that was a strong bang coming from Dominic Chanda on uh, Harrison Chisala. Oh, that's an interesting decision. I thought uh, could have gone the other side, but anyhow, Mr. Evans Mlenga seems to know best in terms of uh, what could have transpired there. 24 minutes in the first stanza, scoreless between the stars and the rest. Chanda Dominic. Chilwa. But Jack Chill has been in and out as well in terms of the national team setup. Uh, is forcing him to be out of the national team proper. Chapa Dixon. Good switch play. Showing a lot of uh, coming up the names. Second ball now for Saotu. Chance for them to whip in across. Saotu waits. Hoping to go into the box. An opportunity to take a shot here. Lays it back to Gift Zulu. Cleared out by the long legs of uh, Jack Chilas. Two second time the Rest come with Kapumbu Faxon. Wide to Robin Siame. Open to side where he can take the shot. And uh, oh, it's really difficult to see what a goal is going to come through and from where. Especially that. Uh, other team is playing deep in this case we're talking of uh, the the rest side so already i'm getting some interesting comments uh, Tanika, that uh, some people are even suggesting that next time the fans select team should have one cup they should come up with micho or the national team proper with uh, the foreign best players so there was a training hand uh, that went straight into kemuka kelvin Mubanga Kampamba from spencer south yeah, well, indeed, uh, it's a foul play, and as things stand, and uh, we had to see more of these flashes, and of course, uh, the ball has crossed the other side, as things stand. It's directed pass here from uh, Collins Sikombe. It's a throw for the, the race side with uh, Faxon Kapumbu, who was caught for the Zambia national soccer team for the very first time in uh, 2008. Frenchman Herb Renard first came to Zambia. Now Bedeki. This is good play. Spencer Saut has got some space here. An opportunity to take a shot. Not a bad effort. He had to rush to take the shot because uh, there was oncoming uh, Dominic Chando tried to close down Spencer Saut. Oh, it seems Spencer is slowly discovering the form that saw him make it in the national team days then. 
Yeah, and indeed, without obviously the disturbance from Dominic there, Achanda, who knows, would have been uh, at the back of the net and be the goalkeeper would have been mesmerized, but uh, that was a very nice uh, ball, but of course it went a little bit wide. There's one goalkeeper who's on holidays, Alan Chiwe, really hasn't been tested or made to really challenge for any of those uh, shots. It's very simple, it's because so far it's been one-way traffic, it's the greens, in this case the rest that are really showing uh, dominance this afternoon. Gift Zulu. Well, there's also pride at stake, the likes of Wetson Yerenda really they want to show that uh, they're ready to time, they were able to assemble a team that was selected by the fans. Good back heel pass from uh, Leonard Mulenga. Out come Kelvin Mwanga Kampamba. It's a good ball as well for Bruce Musakanya. He's coming up against his teammate in uh, Kapumbu. Hoping to take a shot. It does well and it goes wide. They were really exposed there. As Faxon Kapumbu was called, it was a situation of show me your number and then he did turn back and showed his number right behind his shirt. So not a bad move. One of the few that we've seen so far from the stars. Yeah, well, and he has things are is Bruce Mlinger, the way he's doing is coming from the wing, he's cut across and you can see he was showing experience even as he shot and that's a good attempt on the goal so far from the Chan team. Oh, it looks like it will always be Bruce Musakanya to orchestrate those movements. But on the other side it's G Jimmy Belek in Lovu. Oh, the offside call had been made uh, by Wilson Impanis Jr. Jimmy Belek in Lovu does not seem to agree or with that decision, the Cabo Warriors man who is currently sitting on two goals in the Zambian Super Division where he is on the books of Cabo Warriors. Second ball now. Pride Mans has made the overlap. Then Kwaziman looking for where to place the ball. Movement has been made by Chiabuda, but this is a good switch play using his weakest, his stronger left. Musakanya now. Second ball for Kemuka. A save has been made by the goalkeeper, but the offside flag had already gone out. Half an hour played here and really it's still scoreless and nothing really in terms of giving but it is uh, the rest side that have been trying to unhinge what has been put up by the all-stars team i mean as uh, oswald mtapa jr who is the first assistant just uh, giving out the instructions but she we did come out very good uh, the 29 year old uh, tonka 20 goalkeeper that's green eagles Kola roger chisala for the chest now and uh, that's really a, that's certainly a foul from uh, Benedict Chape. She's always a serious candidate to go on the referee's yellow red card uh, page, the son of the late uh, Felix Chape. There's a strong push on the little big man uh, Robin Siame. Yeah, indeed, and of course it wasn't necessary of, for Benedict Chape to do that. Um, he should have just taken time and composed himself uh, being a defender and to avoid such a necessary foul. So as things stand, the foul will go against him, but we hope that he'll be able to defend as uh, the ball is, is taken uh, for a free kick. Set piece situation now for the rest with Faxon Kapumbu. Got about four players in the box, the Queens. Spotted inside at the far post. Chazan Yopoyote goal! And it is Clement Mwape. Mula is who puts uh, the rest in the lead. And the Zesco United with one ball in the domestic league, it was expected. The pressure has finally paid off at the half hour mark. And it is Clement Muape, Mulaish, with the first goal. And oh boy, oh boy. I think it's a true translation of what has been happening so far. The set piece from a Zesco man finished by a teammate. with the goal in the 31st minute. It is all stars new and the rest need one. Well now they have to come back and play but from what we've seen so far we may just be in for some more goals now. Beleki foul. Riparim Mulenga done very well to play advantage because uh, it was two possession that was being uh, 
controlled by the rest team. Foul committed by Leonard Mulenga. Of course, Mulenga did not see a lot of action, or rather, at the time in 2017 when the under-20 was in action, was uh, writing his great sort of exams. Teed up nicely for Kapumbu. He's got a player on the left. It's in Robin Siame that they'll look to bring in across the rest. Brought inside. Sao to challenges. Cleared out, but only just. Roger Kola. Good turning. But the long legs again of uh, Mulenga win the possession. Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Long ball. The chess is on between Adrian Chama and uh, Sikombe. Or rather, Cherry Chabula. Hoping to go to the byline and uh, not see here sight. Good cover coming through from uh, Adrian Chama. I know Cherry Chabula not good, having a good sight in terms of taking the shot on goal. Can imagine how much debate is probably going through with people that are watching this game on the public service broadcast as ZMBC TV1 exclusive. As is the case with the fans here, but for the fans, obviously, they'll be very pleased that yes, I did send him that SMS and it's working. So, they're as good as coaches, and that's why they say the 12th player, the 12th player is always the fan and very opinionated. I can imagine how much talk is happening, what should be done, and the like. Oh, and the debate is good, Matimba, because fans are able to see I've participated in this and there's my player playing on the pitch. Zulu, looking for Peleki, second ball now for Sauti. Still interchange. Sauti has made the run, but it's Jimmy Njov who received to Sauti. Good turning. They're really taking on this chanting. Good switch play to the right. Finds Paxson Kapumbu. Controlled nicely. Kept alive, but uh, it was uh, a heavy pass. Now out come uh, the team and uh, there was that uh, good cover or recovery by Robin I mean not allow it, allowing uh, Rusum Sakanya to make progression. Already an indication of, of your screen there are about uh, six players from the Stars team that are warming up. I reckon there'll be changes that will be made by coach Milutin Slodovic. Mafuenta. One of the things that uh, this uh, team is not doing in terms of uh, creating opportunities is that uh, each time they put the ball, uh, Tandika, they're looking for those long balls to make uh, either Kemuka, Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba, in this case also we're talking of uh, Sikombe and uh, Chabula to do the run. But a corner it is in the meantime. Yeah, it is. And uh, of course, we'll see how they are fair because I don't think they have top players who could have been matching the likes of Kora uh, on the other side. But all in all, let's see what happens. And it could appear as a zonal marking, uh, which we are seeing there. And the chief was busy shouting for instructions to defend us. Kemuka now with the corner for the stars. At the near post, Chiwe comes and collects. Yeah, but again, uh, it was about him being exposed there. Just uh, the likes of Chiwe were just a bit uh, late in terms of wanting to connect from that position. Kapumbu, Faxon, Junior Chapa, Dixon. Good switch play. I just love the way they're sighting and making those uh, crosses to the left or right. Sautu now. Looks like a handball. Mubanga. Now Kapumbu to decide here and a good work by the Zesco man. Corner it is. Well, they were exposed there. You can see how much Mulaish and team appreciate that one because were uh, really out of position at that time and uh, took the experience of uh, Faxon Kapumbu, the 30 year old uh, Zesco United left back to take it out. Corner taken, cleared out. You can hear a bit of uh, commentary in the background or instructions being given out. It's one of the fans, better known as Magrosa, always. Uh, the one that does uh, the pitch side commentary in the stands or rather coaching. You know that there's a competition in South Africa. I think it's the black label competition where the fans do make the selection for Kaiser Chiefs and uh, Orlando Pirates. And then uh, one lucky fan is allowed to give him the opportunity to sit on the bench. And uh, for the first half, it's a fan that is in charge of backing out the instructions. Whereas the original head coach just sits there. But... Uh, I guess that to be a stage one day we'll probably get a good play by Chisala. Composure being shown. Good switch play by Spencer Sauti. To the left, finds Faxon Kapumbu. Siame, Robin, Kapumbu, Chama Adrian. 
for involvement of Alan Chiwe now. Hesitation by the Greek Eagles goalkeeper. For Jacola. Kept in nicely by Gift Zulu. Salah. Chapa. Good switch play for Paxson Kapungu. Controlled nicely as well. Siami, Robin. Taking things special now. Looking for green across. And that should be a foul. Seren. And a card accompanying that one. Seren, it had to have a yellow card produced. It's been too much. And uh, Benedict Chepeshi into the referee's uh, book. He, he does not seem to cope up with the pace of uh, the pacey. Robin Siami. So confirmation of the yellow card. The 24 year old Benedict Chepeshi into the referee's book. Well, uh, it's very unfortunate and uh, he was very careless. And on the other side, we saw Coach Mitchell obviously standing and giving instructions. But alas, what we see there, uh, a very disappointment for an experienced player of the likes of Benedict Chepeshi, who should have done better uh, with that player and, of course, with the ball and like causing the danger. Uh, almost like him now. Oh. situation but I'll tell you this is a serious concern for Green Buffaloes because uh, in the last few games Robin Siame has uh, not been part of the Green Eagle Green Buffalo setup because of an injury they take one inside slot react was Chisala he goes down injured looks like there was a trailing foot that went on Chisala so a yellow card it is for Adrian Chama he had to take one for the team Adrian Chama so, uh, in the meantime, Robin Siam is still receiving treatment from the team medics. So we can confirm it, the 31-year-old Zesky United man into the referee's book as well. Seems Mulenga now is really not becoming cut shy and flashing out the yellow cards. Yeah, I mean, it's very uns unnecessary and the way he went. And the one who raised serious question marks, are they are there to injure their opponents or what? But again, one might argue he was the last man in the line of defense because you take one for the team, uh, Tandika. Mm. I did not stop play. Maybe we'd have been talking of one more scoreline. So, yeah. And that's the name of the game. Simply put, Musakanya. It's brought inside Miss Cute. And it was uh, Chapa. Corner it is. But the good news from this position, I can see Siami trotting back so that uh, he can be brought back even as the rest team are down to 10. Five minutes we have here before the halftime break. Oh, Sakanya goes down. Remember, there was a time when he had uh, an arm. Injury when he was at uh, Red Arrows, so he not play a lot of action. Uh, Bruce Musakanya, play originally from Nangongwe in Kafua, that is where he's originally from. Although his first time football in terms of uh, organized football was when he played for Livingston Arrows, made the big switch to Lusaka to the senior Arrows with his uh, older brother Kekin Kekwin Musakanya. Because Kekwin let me play in what we call social football. No longer playing the active football. Four minutes before the halftime break here. Play has been stopped. So a change in the meantime is also going to be made. Alex Bazomonga. The crowd's favorite. On the rest side. But let's talk about this earlier action and the goal. Yeah, well, the goal was well taken, well calculated from Paxson Kapumbu. Um, we well kept the ball no, so and then there we saw the last and jumping and the outscoring out the opponent. The well taken chance and no, that's how it is when you have opportunity no, to no, convert no, no, one ball, no, one goal, no, no, and you no, play no, the no, no, so changes have been made to Sambalu, who has stuck in for Robin Siame. Uh, the Ambanda has since moved to Chisambalungu, so Wesson Yerenda really 
want you to make changes. So Sinwamba Fred, the Green Buffalo's go custodian, was second in terms of getting the bots being introduced. And uh, so it's Chisambalungu has come in for Jimmy Bellek and Lord. Uh, 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 what, what do you make of the changes that have been made, Tandika? Well, the changes are critical. The fact that we've seen Chisambalungu coming is the senior most player on the pitch. He was at the 2020 Africa Cup of One Nation. He's a good, if you like, uh, winning uh, player and definitely brings a wealth of experience with his dribbling skills. Of course, uh, Fred Siluamba will be tested in the goal. Uh, we are yet to see what he's able to do. Alex Nonga, I mean, he's been uh, a darling at uh, Power Dynamos. We are yet to see whether he will do better this time at the national team. Oh, first touch of the goal and uh, Fred Siluamba collects. Because Siluamba had a very short stint in Nigeria where he played for TB Joshua's team then and uh, came back to Zambia. But that was a disappointing shot that came through from uh, Bruce Musakanya. Spencer Sao to now. Zulu, stop by Pride Mwanza. Two minutes to the halftime break here with the rest leading by one goal to know that Clement Mwapego in the 30th minute. Spencer Sao to the goal scorer. Monga. Sharma goes high. Oh. Must be very careful, Adrian Sharma. Remember, he's already sitting on a, a yellow card that was given to him. So any second booking means that uh, he's off, and that will mean that the rest team will be down to 10. Well, obviously, you will see it's a foul there on Imano Chavula as in the stand, and no doubt about it, we are seeing, of course, uh, Dominic Chanda taking that ball. Uh, and yeah, we see there, of course, the, the defense, and again, they start building from the back, and of course, it's in the arena of the Chan team as in the stand. So we're playing seconds before the end of the first stanza here. Pride Mwanza, good chest control, finds Kemuka, Mwanga Kampamba. You don't give him a chance to shoot from those positions. Chisala Harrison, second ball now, looking for Mwanga. Good cover by Dominic Chanda. Mulenga, Leonard, Kemuka. Jack Chilwa. Sikombe. Chepesh was second to that situation now, Chisambalungu. The trick at the beginning to show. Good pass to Roger Kola. Second ball to Samba. And uh, too much already. <laughs> Beginning to show flashes here. Three minutes of additional time here. We're going to play according to the fourth official. I like to call them the boardsman, Francis Sichali. We're already beginning to see flashes of the AFCON 2012 winner, Chisamba Lungu. Indeed, and he's the darling of the crowd so far. He's mesmerizing us since he's come on the pitch. Imagine what type of talk will happen in the two teams' dressing rooms, especially for the All-Stars team that are trailing 1-0. And they've really been uh, forced to play back most of the time. It's Chepesh in the meantime on the attack, cleared out by Adrian Chama. Safety first is probably what they will be doing in these closing stages of uh, this first half. Take a short throw. Sakanya. Gordon Mafuenta. Was such a gun uh, last year when Zambia hosted and won the Kosafa under 20 tournament at this same venue it was. Throw in for the Stars team. Change in terms of responsibility. I'll tell you one thing, uh, Tandika, this is one of those long throw ins that will come through from Kemoka. Takes one Chavula, headed out by Moape Clement. Still kept alive. Now they've got the greens as well in terms of the numbers to start this attack. Alex Bazomong. Hoping to go to the byline. Throw in for the Chan team. Of course, Monga last played uh, football outside Zambia with when he was in the book of C F C C F Monana in uh, Gabon. Now back with uh, Power Dynamos. He's certainly a crowd favorite many a times. Uh, He's uh, doing his warm-up or just before he's introduced, reading himself. 
two of the three minutes additional time already played. Sikombe, probably the last throw of the dice in the first stanza. Chama, Adrian. Alex Ngonga. Oh, this brought down. <laughs> this is what the fans were looking forward to. And there's a bit of trickery on the ball from uh, the former Zambian international, Alex Bazomonga, Bashiru Buto. Oh, as you can see, Ngonga uh, with his trickery, uh, there he is. You know, he stands and there he goes until he's brought down by Dominic Chan. So we have to see the best of him in this match. So that may be an opportunity for me to get uh, your report card about how the first half has, has been. Tandika, seeing that uh, we're slowly coming to the end of the first half here. Yeah? Well, there have been far and few uh, flashes here and there, but I think he, what is more outstanding, we've seen the goal from unlikely source, and in this case, the defender, obviously, we've seen Mwape, uh, Clement Mwape getting on the score sheet, and that's what has separated the So, on cue, referee Evans Mlenga blows the end of the first half here. And uh, what a first stanza that we've had, but uh, what is separating these two sides is the goal that came in the 30th minute from Zesco United defender Clement Mwape, connecting a delightful pass, a set piece that came from Faxon Kapungu. So, at half time here, the all stars new and uh, the rest one. The second half should be an intriguing one. Keep it here on your public service broadcaster, Southern BC TV One, just for you. Welcome back to the uh, All Stars versus the rest match. So at half time, it is uh, the fans select that lead by one go to new. So already three changes have been made by the All Stars team that have seen the introduction of three players just before the start of uh, the second half. Moses P in uh, for. Kelvin Mwangaka Mpamba Skombe has been substituted. His position taken by Felix Bulaya and Enoch Sakala Jr. introduced for Bruce Musakanya. So we wait and see what uh, the three changes that have been made by coach Milodovin Notevin Srodovic are going to bring in terms of the impact. Already Moses Pierre has had a touch on the boys. The All Stars team that is now defending the goal on the left on your screen. Cleared out by Dixon Chapa. Second ball received by Dominic Chanda who a few moments ago, prior to the start of the second half, I saw Mitchell just having a serious word with uh, the two central defenders for the All-Stars team. Now, Alex Bazomonga brings in one, looking for Kola and uh, a goal kick. So they did build up shortly like a diesel engine, the combination of uh, Roger Kola and uh, Alex Bazomonga. But uh, that did not uh, result in anything really to worry Charles Kalumba in goal, the super correct boys uh, goalkeeper. That's uh, Prison Leopards go Castorian. The Chan team now starting at the back uh, with uh, Gordon Mafuenta. Chan the Dominic. Solid partnership they formed uh, the days when he was playing for Second City. Of course, up front there, the likes of Biston Guazemba Banda. Apologizes for that uh, miscued uh, pass. He is now in the books of Cabo Warriors' uh, Dominic Chanda. Throw in uh, for the rest side with uh, Faxon Kapumbu. Because Kapumbo also played for City of Lusaka. He's been one of those that has been busy in terms of uh, playing domestic football. Thrown in yet again for the rest side who have really continued from where they started off. The likes of Gordon Mafuenta having extra time to work here, the Zambia number five. Kapumbo takes a throw. Cleared out, but only just because he's still in the All Stars team. Only now does Chepeshi come through. Chama. Wins the possession ahead of his uh, teammate Enoch Sakala Jr. The touch on is good from uh, Harrison Chisala, but there was a high boot 
that came through from Alex Bazongonga. So three changes made Tandika. Uh, it's uh, Moses P, Enoch Sakala Jr. and Felix Bulaya in for Bruce Musakanya, Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba and Colin Sikombe. Notable change is that of Moses Speed. We've seen him banging goals for Zanako, and indeed he's been the man of the moment. I think he's he's been very sharp. We had to see in this match how he's going to fare in front of the goal. Foul committed by Dixon Chapa, who claims innocence in that position. He's also a clinical officer by profession, uh, Chapa, apart from playing football full time. But this is how the action and the uh, incident happened. Looks like there was a training hand from uh, Dixon Chapa. Yeah, and that's the worrying thing, Martin, but this game is becoming physical. So you wonder whether it's a light friendly match or it's a heavy uh, friendly match. I tell you, from this position, it's certainly a heavy one because these Greens are also fighting to find themselves on that plane that will be going to Cameroon. Who wants to come out second best? Certainly not. Set piece taken. Foul right now to Chabula Cherry. That decision should be against Chabula because he had the possession. And like you're very right, we've seen a lot of physical play. Physicality now coming to the fore here. And the latest recipient being uh, Faxon Kapumbu and Chabula being the guilty one there, the Osaka the Dynamo's man. Yeah, and we've seen it very clear. The ball has crossed the set piece, indeed. And uh, we've seen the situation there. As things stand there, of course, the Chan team is trying to push forward. Well, they're really trying to do so. I know of coaches who kick buckets of water. Back pass was rather too heavy for Charles Kalumba, the prison leopards goalkeeper. Of course, on the subs bench, uh, in terms of the Chan team, in terms of the goalkeeping department, there's also Patrick Choma from Kabu Yusok Academy and uh, Richard Nyerenda from Unchanga Rangers. So it looks like the policy of at least having players under 25 years of age, because if I look at the age, average age for this uh, Chan team, it's uh, 25, so maybe that's one of the things that uh, Mitro is probably looking forward to. Looking for a chance uh, to make a movement, but uh, again, uh, nothing come to fruition. It's the newly introduced uh, Felix Bulaya, currently sitting on three goals, and uh, already one of his goals he scored. Uh, in the game against uh, Young Green Eagles in the domestic league is one that is might just be in the reckoning for goal of the season, but it's too far to call. Now Nonga, quick step, goalkeeper has come out. This should be number two, he takes it to the byline. Oh, I thought the lob would have just worked there for Bazo Nonga. It's brought inside and cleared out, but what a waste of chance. It should have been two for the rest side because the goalkeeper had rest out in trying to stop it. A low boy, a cheap would have worked their record, but now still kept alive. They return possession with Spencer Sauer to going through a maze of players. Navy moments yet again for the Stars team. Yeah, it's easy. We've seen until we've seen obviously the Mwansa pride heading the ball out of the danger zone. But Monga surely should have made it two there. Yeah, he had an opportunity, but uh, Nonga, being not a very good striker at the national team level, it has shown that he's a very good attacking midfielder. Mafuenta. Touch on is good uh, from uh, Enoch Sakala Jr. Benedict Chepeshi. Long ball for Sakala, and uh, he leaned back even as he was trying to connect that one. Enoch Sakala. With such a revelation in the Zesco United side, uh, the son of uh, the former Zesco United striker, his father is now coach Enoch Sakala Senior. In the days when Wetson Nyerenda guided uh, Zegamambo to play continental football as part of that uh, Zesco team, alongside the likes of Clifford Chipala, among the many that were regulars in the Zesco United side. Back to action, Chisala picks it up, Dixon Chapa switches play wide to Zulu. He took his eyes off the ball when he was trying to control that one, the former Malembe man. It's been really tough times for Zulu, who at some point was a regular in the Chan squad during the qualifiers when Agri Chiangi was coach. Of course, Zambia was at the Chan tournament in 2018 in uh, Morocco, then under Wetson Nyerenda, where the team was based in uh, Marrakesh. Breakdown, looking for the second ball, but uh, difficult one and uh, no progression made by Moses Spiri. Bulaya, Felix. Baza was trying to come up with an act that uh, probably would have ended up having the direction of the ball go in an area where he would have put his team under pressure. 
He's really trying to do a lot of things with the ball, uh, this Alex Ngonga. Mwape. Saut, Spencer. He's got the bite and he shot the ball too much. And uh, good work at the defense, the back by Dominic Chanda. Not somewhat going into a low in terms of having chances that have been created uh, by both sides, especially, especially the rest side that came out very strong in the opening first half. Jack Chidwa. Mulenga, Leonard. Cherry Chavula. Mafuenta. And uh, coming up against the seniors in uh, Adrian Chama, they'll always be the first one. Mistake by Harrison Chisala. That was charitable passing. Looking for the second ball now to Chepe Benedict. Chidwa. Outside his boots, badly done by the captain. Kapumbu now throw in. And I should have been first to arrive on the ball, but now in Chanda to just come ahead of him. Mulenga. Sikombe. Oh, that's Bulaya, bigger pardon, and not Sikombe, because Sikombe has been substituted. Sakala cleared out by Clement Mwape. So interesting, the fans all voted for his screen added defense that included originally the likes of uh, Simon Silimba, but not part of the team this afternoon because of injury. And so is Donashano Malama. Kola. South to Spencer. Chisambalungu is unmarked. Far left. Kapumbo has made the overlap now. Good pass by Lungu. Brought inside and blocked. So they say the back heel doesn't have eyes, but in the case of Chisamba, that was clever play by... The man they nicknamed Chisambadinho. On the other side now, pressure is on. Opportunity for Ulaya to pull the trigger. Hesitation, and what a missed chance. I thought he would have taken responsibility at that position, and this is how this chance was wasted. Well, Ulaya shifted responsibility. I thought he was going to go into the box, because when you're in the box, anything and everything is possible, Tandika. Yeah, it is possible, and of course he has caused uh, some stay, and we can see Coach Western Ranger standing and giving instructions uh, on the other side. I think he sensed the danger. Of course, Chabula should have done far better with that ball, but of course he shot very wide, and I think he needs to improve if he's going to get a goal to be accurate in terms of shooting as things stand. So, when I was talking about uh, the Rothmans of Paul Moore, all Stars versus the rest, which was played in uh, 1996. Of course, later on, we had uh, the All Stars versus the rest that was sponsored by MTN, as the case with this one. It was played at the Independence Stadiums. Remember, the likes of Imano Zulu were part of that team. Yeah, by then, I think it was called Telesel. Yes, not MTN. Chisala. White to Ngonga. Long ball, too much power from uh, Bazo. Go kick. Oh, he's finding himself in good uh, places, but uh, nothing happening in terms of uh, making it happen, Ngonga. So 11 minutes in the second half, Tandika, and uh, the scoreline doesn't change. Yeah, it hasn't changed, but we've seen that I think the champ team are the ones who are in control of the game. They are pushing, but they haven't had that precision uh, in front of goal. And perhaps maybe with the introduction of Friday Sam, maybe that could be the turning point. Well, Adrian Chama has been rock solid. Uh, the older brother of uh, Kletas Chota Chama, who plays uh, his football now for Simba Sports Club. Speaking of which, Simba will be in action next week on Tuesday at the National Stadium in uh, Tanzania. They lost in a game that they thought many would win in the Cup Champions League last week against Platinum Stars of uh, Zimbabwe who were coached by the Zimbabwean uh, Numan Mapeza. Now, Sautu 
up against Dominic Chanda, but Chanda wins in this case. Captain Chilwa, Gordon Mafuenta, Chepeshi, stopped nicely by Faxon Kapumbu, Dixon Chapa. Second ball meant for Sautu now, up against Dominic Chanda. This is an interesting battle that we're going to see this afternoon. Good tackle by Sautu, just throw it in this. So again, Chanda pleads. It was uh, an innocent uh, challenge, but uh, looks like there was a trailing boot on Spencer Sout. I do know that players can be very good actors that can even get the Oscars and win all those uh, awards. But it'd be interesting to see what could have happened here, Chilo. Yeah, and indeed, if you've seen, of course, uh, that's unsad, very sad. It's nasty, and that was uncalled for. Of course, Spencer, using his experience, he was the former captain for Green Eagles, and I think he's gone for the ball. But of course, the referee has ruled it as a foul. Well, it looks like he was step he stepped in the bedroom. So, double substitution. Chabula goes out as a fourth change and is a uh, position taken by Green Buffalo's Friday Samu. And then Joseph Sabobo Banda is being ready to come in as a fifth change. The best player at the Kosafa Under 17 tournament. So, we can confirm a yellow card as well to Dominic Chanda, a former circuit city man, into the referee's book. And that's a confirmation. It's a busy afternoon uh, for Mr. Chanda this afternoon. So another change that has been made uh, by the Osters team, but uh, wait before that one because uh, players resumed here with uh, Benedict Chepeshi. Charles Kalumba. Long kick out looking for Friday Samu, who is already, that's his contribution since coming in in the offside uh, Friday Samu. It's really a, a tough one coming up against the likes of uh, Clement Mulaish Muape, Chama, Chisambalungu. Well, they're very comfortable the way they're knocking the ball, the rest players. Moape now, the goal scorer. It's a mistake there. It was a rather casual pass that was meant for Charles Zulu. Clement Moape formed a strong partnership during his days at uh, Cabo Warriors with Tandy Moape, who's one of the three players at uh, Tupisama Zembe, apart from Renford Kalaba and uh, the former Zambia captain in. Uh, former Zambia captain in uh, the Havaso Chongo. Yeah, the name almost went there. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to eat a, a bit more of onion, they said. <laughs> Out come now the Chan team with Leonard Mulenga. They've got three midfielders, all compact, playing more in the defensive positions. You've got Chilwa, Mulenga. Operating that midfield uh. so one more change still to be made and now finally the change is going to be effected it looks like the debate continues on uh, the introduction there's actually a change initially we were told Joseph Banda should have come in but instead it is Martin Njovu whether that change you wait looks like there's a bit of uh, the change in uh, opinion as to whether that change should go on or not. Moape <laughs> clears. Chisala, Harrison. At the time, he was reported to have almost moved to Butkon Football Club, but uh, still in the books of Umkana Football Club is uh, Chisala. Saul to now Spencer. Finds the ball, second ball from him from uh, Roger Kola. Up against Chanda, throw in for the rest.
Oh, a bit of smoke coming through here at the Nkoloma Stadium. It's a rainy season, but it seems there's some dry bushes around that have been uh, neat and bent here. You see from that position here in the Skanze camp and uh, oh, interesting times. Throw is taken. It's a foul throw from Gift Zulu. It's the second time we've seen him not doing the right thing. Very disappointing. Especially at this stage of the season, you reckon that uh, players would be able to do the right things. Showing experience in this match, Tandika. Well, it is. He's showing it and he's able to block that, and uh, he's well composed. And he's been the outstanding defender so far from the uh, from the fan select team. Uh, added to that, for me, is uh, Spencer Sawu who has had a good game. Mulenga. It's a long drive, but too much for Felix Wolaya. Well, let's see if Zulu do a better job. Twice now, he's not got it right. Uh, the, the former Chipata Day secondary school player, that's where he originally is from, played his football there, doing the provincial games as well. Good ball now. Bulaya to whip in across. Two players waiting, and Clement Moape, just what we call safety first. Well, he's really very commanding. I like the way he just commands the defense. You can see how much, so much talking is involved. And now he just organizes everyone. He really is a uh, Mr. No Nonsense. But in the meantime, it's a fourth change for the rest side. Ernest Auteza Mbewe comes in for Harrison Chisala. So the Zanako man being introduced. And the former Zambia under 20 international exits. And in comes uh, Ernest Auteza Mbewe, the 25 year old uh, Zanako. Winger. We're not seeing so much of the pace uh, lately, the Zanako colors, or maybe it's about the position or what instructions probably come to corner taken. And Chepeshi. Uh, Good block coming through from uh, Bazongonga. Mafuenta. Nicely picked up by Kapumbu. Chapan out at the second ball. Finds Alex Bazongonga. Let's see what he will do this time around. Hoping to go to the back. Well, he seems to be running out of ideas this morning every time he's got the ball. Seems not to be his afternoon, and the fans already beginning to demand for his uh, in out substitution situation. So then, I can imagine what uh, Mongo have to say here. Oh, and this is very, very disappointing uh, because this is the player fans have called for the national team, but it would appear he plays very well for Power Dynamo, but when it comes to the national team, he hasn't really exerted himself. And as things stand, of course, uh, he's becoming unpopular by the end of the day. And the other thing is uh, the fans select team, they are really taking time, you know, whether it's throw in or to be in action, they are buying time so far so as the match progresses. No, probably it's one of, uh, it's called game management, as long as the time goes on, you can delay it by taking the throwing, although too early, one might say, at this stage of the match, because just one goal from the Chan team and just steer and change up everything. Decision against uh, Roger Cole, even as well as pulling the trigger from that position. also has been the one that has been uh, changing teams uh. Spencer Sao to Pride Mwansa with pride switches it to the right, finds Chepeshi, one of the few members, uh, 2015 Zambia squad, the last time that Zambia qualified to the Cup of Nations, so missing out on 2017, 2019, and of course, uh, shot is taken, blocked, Kapumbu should be able to clear up things here, long kick out, Monga now to do the chest, up against uh, Gordon Mafuenta, back pass is going to do the chest here completely, and uh, well, a bit late there, but it's just the work rate, 
that a lot of coaches do appreciate. I remember in one of my chats with Hevry now, just after the 2015 uh, Kosafa tournament uh, that Zambia hosted and won, of course, winning that final against Zimbabwe, he described, or just, just let it out to say, he's one of those players that you can really count on in terms of piling up, piling up pressure on the opposing team. And that's true with uh, Alex Bazomonga. now Chepeshi. Hasn't uh, been tested this afternoon. Can, can even have the time to do a bit of uh, jogging. I think the instructions, uh, Tandika, are very right. I like your, your analysis was that uh, they will try as much as possible to slow down the pace of the match. And that's clearly what uh, Fred Siluamba, who also had a stint with National Assembly, is doing. Ah, uh, mistake on the other side, collected by Siluamba. Well, Moses P was just uh, right there. He's capable of just coming out of the blocks. And you can't really... You might think that he's having a quiet day, but I'll, oh boy, oh boy, I'll tell you about uh, Moses' baby police, Piri. Just come out of the blocks and get a go. But at least they've managed to keep him in uh, the rest pocket. And uh, that has really worked to the advantage of the, the rest side. state of affairs as we see there at Chepesh. Uh, it seems there's some collision, of course, uh, with Roger Cola. Roger Cola, of course, has a physical presence, and uh, this may not look good uh, for the so defender. Uh, it may yet to see the outcome of this. The rest team making a substitution. It's Paul Katema, the Red Arrows man, coming in for Dominic Shanda. So Dominic Chanda being introduced, and then, and then also there is uh, an introduction of uh, the number two in Martin Injovu, the former Z the Zambia under 20 player, who is uh, being introduced. So Martin Injovu is also being ready to, uh, to come in, and we can confirm off your screen that. Uh, there's been a yellow card that has been flashed to Roger Cola. So Pride was also as the number six player to be taken off is and his position taken by Francis Zulu. Number 13, Francis Zulu. So Zulu coming in and the last change sees the number two on your screen, Martin Injovu, who is part of the Zambia under 20 Zulu team that recently participated in the Kosafa tournament and is coming in as uh, the sixth rather the seventh so change <laughs> so Martin Njogu from Kansashi as the seventh change so seven changes made by the All-Stars at present we're only talking of four changes that have been made by the rest well uh, it's very interesting but I expected to see a whole sum of changes especially from the All-Stars sele uh, select because I'm sure the coach may be experimenting his tactics uh, and also his formation as he's sizing up with the fans select team. So I expect he would make more changes and expose a few more players uh, in this encounter. Second ball now, looking for Moses P. Chested nicely. Enoch Sakala, second ball, and nothing given. They were looking for a penalty. It hasn't been given. Looks like it was a soft, a soft call there. Lungu, Moape clears, finds Spencer Sautu. The run has been made by Auteza Mbewe. Chest control is good as well. He's put on a bit of kilos from this position. I see him. Monga. Gift Zulu. Alex Monga. Second ball wide to Auteza. Cross comes through. Opportunity! And uh, that should have been two. The goalkeeper came out. 
but did not was nowhere near in making contact with the ball up against the challenge of uh, Spencer Sautu. And really, if a player like Sautu can go on uh, and challenge for that ball, then question marks will be asked about who was not picking him up in that position. Watch your caller. Alex Ngonga. Hoping to pass the goal kick off guard and uh, goal kick. I wouldn't be shocked if Alex Ngonga is uh, substituted. They're beginning to go in confidence uh, with Martin Njovu now, the Chan team. One of the three inclusions from the junior teams into the Chan team. Chilwa Jack. Mwansa. Mulaya. Mwape has it all covered and goalkeeper Silwemba comes out. I thought he was going to collect that one because uh, he took an awkward bounce in front of uh, Mwape and so it was not in any way a back pass. Mulaya. Nicked up nicely, cleared by Mwape. Lungu Chisamba. Good pass, finds Roger Kola. Mwonga has made this run. The offside flag goes down against Mwonga and. Uh, oh. Second assistant feeling there was uh, an offside call that needed to be made there. And so the change is going to be made by the select side. And it's uh, Roger Kola who comes out as uh, the fourth, as a fifth change. And in comes uh, Boyd Musonda. So Boyd Musonda comes in as uh, the next change, the former faction player. So Chisambalungu, who had come in as the second change, goes out, and Roger Kola comes, Joseph P. So the change is really happening, but again, you wouldn't be, sh are you, you wouldn't be shocked with the introduction of Chisamba in out, because lately he does not finish matches, even at Zanako Football Club. Yeah, but tactically it should have been better than to bring him the last 20 or 30 minutes, unlike the way uh, has been done to Sambalung. Because when he came in, of course, at some point he was doing far better than uh, the colleagues that have been produced on the other side. So there's a certain technicality normally brings on the pitch, on the field of play, and attracts uh, defenders because of his trick card. So seven changes now made by the the rest team. Interested to hear what uh, post-match comments will be made uh, from uh, a number of journalist colleague, uh, colleagues or friends in the print media, especially that will be lining up with their notebooks to just to get to hear what uh, Mitchell have to say. And Martin Injovu straight into the referee's book again. It looks like. They're really going for Spencer South this afternoon. So, yellow card on Martin Jovu. Well, it's, it's very sad, and so far, things look. Uh, Spencer South has brought this tactical approach, and of course, we've seen a lot of fouls. He's the most fouled player on the pitch as things stand, and he tells you he still has the quality. What more is he fully fit? He would do far better than he is doing so far. So he's been a menace on the field of play, and of course, it's sad. And we hope that uh, whatever has happened to him may not be serious, may not be threatening him uh, to have an injury. So he's, he's really taken to task uh, as it is the Chan team, and of course, he's the hot midfielder so far on the pitch. So Martin Injov from. Uh Originally from Changa Rangers, it's a set piece situation. It's good to see Spencer Sao to back. A bit of pulling happening there, and uh, well, this game is turning out to be one. You can see Moape Clement offering his apologies there, or rather, he's the one who's playing the role of a peacemaker. It was Paul Katemo who received that. Uh, Kapumbu whips in one. A chance now, and uh, it was Sao again. 
who rolls between two defenders. He's having a game, the 25 year old uh, Power Dynamo's midfielder. Of course, on loan from Green Eagles is uh, Spencer Saut. Well, it's really been a threat, as you can see. And of course, we've seen the loose marking again. That's the worry is from the Central Defense Partnership uh, from the Chan team. Uh, they need to work on their defense pairing and make sure that they are airtight. 12 minutes here we have and uh, the rest you holding on dearly to that slender lead I can imagine how this partisan crowd that is right behind Wadawada's bench will celebrate this one Kapumbu Faxon Piri been pushed by Gordon Mafuenta possession still kept in play but uh, the strong Mafuenta now this one is going to be an interesting battle Katema Leonard Mulenga Ulaya oh. Zulu does well to recover. Bewe now finds uh, Alex Bazomonga. Right for Mbewe. Receives the return pass. Finds Spencer Sao to a bit of hesitation in terms of decision making there from uh, Alex Ngonga. There was a debate as to whether to take the ball to the right where Alteza was or bring it square to Spencer Sao to. Katema. So it is Katema and Benedict Chepeshi. Are both on the books of Red Arrows that were part of the 2015 Zambia squad. Of course, uh, the last time Zambia qualified to the African Cup of Nations, it was uh, Ona Janza who was the coach then. Zulu gift with the throw now. The former Malembe player. Kept in, kept in play by the Stars team. Desperate clearance by Gordon Mafuenta. Control is good by Moses P. Well committed by Chapa Dixon. Ten minutes for the end of this match. A goal in the thirtieth minute from uh, Moape Clement Mulaishi is what's separating these two sides. Friday Sam up against uh, his former teammate in Adrian Chama. Cross comes through. Kept alive by Francis Zulu. Second one from Martin Injovu. Brought inside. Corner it is. Oh, interestingly, the armband had moved to Chisambalungu when he was brought in, and now it's back to Adrian Chama. Just how things change here. Yeah? Ulaya with a corner now for the All Stars. More and more fans keep coming here at the Coloma Stadium. In these closing stages of this match. The corner has brought in a chance and it's a goal. They've got the equalizer. And uh, Silwamba was exposed there. They were holding on too much. And an important one. And yet again, it has to be Moses P. Come at the man, come at the hour. It seems to not stop scoring uh, Moses P. So both goals coming from set pieces and now it is one apiece here, characteristic of what normally comes through when we have the All-Stars versus the rest matches. And so Moses P, the 27-year-old Zanako striker restoring parity here for the Stars. Well, it's very interesting and I did say that this is the player who is on form of the substitutions made so far and he's been scoring for Zanako and is leading their top scholars chat so he's an intelligent player and he's on the rise and you can see the way he's able to beat the likes of Siluamba I mean with all the experience he's able to score and it's rarely we've seen strikers scoring from the header position so P with the equalizer it's his all stars one the rest one in the meantime on the other side it almost resulted in terms of uh, the the rest quickly claiming out their seconds after conceding
Boyd Misonda. And I think it's a guilty one for that goal in my analysis because he did not time and see the run that came through from his teammate Moses Spiri. Are we in for some late drama here? Friday Sam whips in one, cleared out by Dixon Chapa. Mr. Consistent, the player that has played in almost all the matches for Napsa Stars is uh, Dixon Chapa, the Chigabombe born midfielder. Good play now. This looks promising from Mulaya. Second boy, shot is taken, blocked. It went straight into the body of Moses Spear. So, the rest been put under pressure here. It's clearly beginning to show. Kapumbu clears. Piri beaten. Musonda. Sao to now. This is good play by the power dynamo's man and his brother. Oh, it's a man of the match performance that Spencer South has brought up this afternoon. And, and perhaps he, I should think that he should be in the contention of being the man of the match. Uh, looking at his performance, really. he has really been uh, the man of the moment, the midfield maestro, as things stand. Well, you never know, he may just be slowly walking himself into Mitchell's team for the Chan tournament. Zulu. Oh, put himself under unnecessary pressure. Is uh, Charles Gift Zulu? Of course, his two names are Charles Gift Zulu. No mistake with the Zulu, who's uh, since moved on to Cape Town City in South Africa. Taco from Moape. And now beginning to pull the strings. Martin and Jove brings it to his favorite right, takes a shot, the goalkeeper spills it. The second opportunity and the save again by the goalkeeper. And now he comes out. No one's not. And now Simi is able to clear. This is good play. <laughs> so he's only run to the ball and that should be a yellow card. So a yellow card to Fred uh, Siruamba. Well, he needed to save himself from those blushes. And he goes down. I'll tell you what, the pressure is too much. Well, it's very sad. I think Sulamba could have done it better with that ball because that was not a, a hot shot, so to say. I mean, perhaps he, one of the talking points he needs to trim his weight, I mean, for him to be an effective goalkeeper. But we've seen he saves his splashes. But I think what comes into play is his semantics and what he's doing. I mean, you don't need that to slow the tempo of the game and behave with such a manner. After all, this is just a friendly match, and who knows, the coach may have an, uh, have an eye on you, and the way he's coming out is not really impressive. Yes, he's done those saves, but he could have done far better by clearing the ball, and like the way he's done, holding onto the ball and run with it on the pitch. And now he's lying on the ground. Um, the idea is basically to slow the game, or should we ask ourselves to say, does he have full fitness? And from the look of things, we need to prove that. Yeah, because as things stand, he's on a yellow card. But also we've seen the kind of play here. There's been a, a more of a Piralio type of play of football where they're leaving the space in one wing and consolidating the other wing. So we've seen in the first half, obviously, uh, those crosses from wing to wing defenders passing the ball and of course up front. But in the second half, we haven't seen much of that. So it tells you that uh, because of the certain introductions and changes they've influenced. So as things stand, obviously, the goalkeeper is down and we are saying this is very sad. If it means to substitute him, let them make a, a decision and substitute him. We see the goal, of course, he was clearly beaten there. And of course, Moses Spiri was the man of the moment who came. And he has changed the complexion with the Friday Sam. And Mombe, Moses Spiri has proved uh, to be a fine finisher and that's very good for him it will give him confidence even to do more and far and perhaps to force his way uh, in the uh, 23 man squad which will be finalized by coach Sredovic, um, Micho of course uh, Milutin uh, as he comp uh, uh, compiles his final list so it's a question of uh, waiting for the outcome but the goalkeeper need, need to improve his work rate even as he takes the ball, um, he needs to understand that he needs to work with time 
and to be effective and efficient. Well, I must give credit also to the Green Buffalo's goalkeeping department, led by Joe Kambali, who have done a very good job. Uh, really, he's shed off some uh, kilos, uh, Fred Silomba. And speaking of which, there's no other goalkeeper on the subs bench for the select side because uh, the earlier first choice goalkeeper has been substituted uh, in uh, Alan Chiwe. So three minutes before the end of the time, waiting for the additional optional time. Spencer Sao to Kapumbo has made the overlap. Wide now. The cross will be good here. Brought inside was uh, hard and low. Good work by Gordon Mafuente. Njovu. Friday Sam controls well. Chidwa. Moses Piri. Second ball now. Adrian Chama to decide. That pass to Sidwamba. Boyd Misonda. Oh, he had a successful spell at uh, Club Sportif's Faxien uh, Boyd Musonda. And now he's back at uh, Zanako Football Club. The number 21 for the Greens. Job stopped by Spencer Sautu, just helping out in the uh, defensive duties. Jack Chidwa. Long drive, looking for the run from Felix Bulaya. Up against uh, Charles Zulu. It's a legal challenge right in front of the evidence was referee Molenga. Controlled by Enoch Sakala Jr. An extension from Moses P. Goalkeepers come out, trucks back. It should be a corner because the final touch of the ball came off uh, Clement Moape. So we're playing uh, the last few seconds of this match. And uh, from what we've seen, it might just be a lot of additional time as a result of uh, the long treatment that was given to the goalkeeper Fred Silwamba. Bolaya with the corner, the rest considered from such a position. You see how much now they need to do a bit of talking uh, they have to do. Corner is taken, cleared out. Second ball now. It's taken wide to the right. Corner comes through Silwamba. Go kick. So six minutes of additional time here we're playing, according to the fourth official, Francis Sicciali. It's, it's a lot of time, I'll tell you, Tadeka. I've seen goals being scored even minutes. in two minutes of additional time, or even one. Yeah, indeed, it's a lot of time. We've seen teams even scoring in one minute, maybe a goal or two. Uh, and of course, this is not just in Zambia. We've seen it even outside Zambia. Of course, the famous of Manchester Bayern Munich 1999 final, where they had to get two goals in two minutes. There's a chance here for a shot. Kalumba goes down. And again, uh, just picking up on your thought, uh, Tandika, I thought that uh, the Chan team would also make a change in the goalkeeping department, especially that there are two more goalkeepers, Patrick Choma from Kaiser and uh, the Changa Rangers go Castorian, Richard Nirenda, who I thought were going to be given a run out this afternoon. Yeah, definitely one was hoping that, but of course, that's dangerous players we've seen. That's out to some extent. I mean, I was expecting the coach Shredovic uh, Milutin to make a wholesome changes so that other players are also tested, being mindful that this is the Chan provision team. So this was the opportunity to experiment and to test his philosophy even on these other players. He has had not an opportunity to check at them because he's got his first 11 somewhere, some of them, but I think this would have given them the opportunity to showcase those fringe players and uh, from the look of things, it would appear that they may not be further substitution. And this itself is raising certain uh, question marks about certain players. So because this we also in conversation there with the uh, yeah, his assistants, yes. it's uh, <laughs> Dusan and uh, also Admutap on the left. Yeah, it's, really? it's important to obviously to brainstorm Matimba and uh, to get thoughts of others as things stand. But of course, the pressure will be on Mitchell and his team as things stand in this game. Well, we've seen it. Kapumbo has been very dangerous with those crosses, uh, on those long passes, and I hope the coach may have a look at him again. Of course, we've seen the goalkeeper, the timing of coming out. He should have done far better than he is doing. Uh, we hope that the technical bench has taken note of these few uh, errors, you know, and uh, they will not repeat on themselves. On the other side, it's Watson, Yerenda, Steven Mwansa. Kuba Muswanda is the 
Nyerenda's assistant, because uh, Nyerenda back from South Africa, he was coached for Baroka Football Club. They're back to action here. The cross comes through. Goalkeepers come out. Collects now is uh, Charles Kalumba. Clearly, a challenge that uh, Prison Leopards, even when they were playing in the first division, is uh, Charles Kalumba. Gordon Mafuenta on loan at Beautiful Football Club, stopped by Bazo Monga. The chance now for the the rest to get something. That's the spirit I was talking about to Monga, where he really does not leave any chance. Boyd is on the takes the shot, and White, he was nicely teed up and laid up by Spencer Saut. But maybe trying to roll back the years was Boyd who's on the remember. In 2016, he was uh, voted as the best player at that Kosafa tournament, and even his goal at the under 20 level was one that was voted as the goal of the tournament. But let's take a look at this, shall we? Yeah, indeed. I mean, he, he had all the time to take time and uh, to compose himself, to be cool, calm, and collected and take that shot. But however, he's just done it the wrong way. Uh, I mean, he's being a defensive midfielder, and surely who has played even at under 20 World Cup, he should have been able to account himself very well with that shot. But however, we hope that uh, given another opportunity, he will be able to do better than he has done. Um, I brought down again by Gordon Mafuenta. There was a time that uh, Monga and uh, the likes of uh, at Nkata, who's at now an absolute stance, formed a strong team at Nchanga Rangers. Quick start again, uh, taken Sautu. Picked up by Moses Piri. Chapa just closing in, as usual, very strong in the midfield here. Chess for the boys on. It's uh, Enoch Sakala Jr. up against uh, Adrian Chama. Always a difficult opponent to come up with Chama. Laid back to Njovu Martin. Wide looking for Bulaya, but uh, closed in nicely by Auteza Mbewe. Chest control by Joseph Piri, and uh, the line wins. Throw in it is. So, one minute we're counting down here, and looks like uh, we, it might just be one of those games where a draw has a writing on it, even as uh, the the rest had taken the lead at some point, characteristic of such matches, even the days of the Rothmans of Pomo. One of the games I remember, the All-Stars versus the rest, the late effort Chavala was dropped from the national team and he made it in the rest team. On the other side, the late Richard Mwanza was in goal and immediately after that game, Richard, uh, rather effort Chavala had to be caught to the main team and we played against Madagascar as the national team and they ended up winning goals. Yeah, and that basically 1991 September when we had this. But also what is interesting Matimba, in that encounter we saw Mufuri Ondra's players and the most successful club in the history of Zambia. But in this encounter we have none. Yeah, I see. Let's not go in history. Let's leave it now. Let's talk about 2012 when the AFCON uh, came to Zambia. In the meantime, it's cleared out. And uh, the six minutes already up any time from now referee Evans Mulenga must be blowing for what has been uh, an interesting encounter but the throw in still has to be taken by Leonard Mulenga so foul throw very disappointing I've seen twice it was uh, gift Charles gift Zulu being the culprit and now Leonard Mulenga joining that list so then the business looks like it's done and dusted here at any time. Referee must be blowing the end of the match here. Or maybe he still feels it's probably the, still the last throw of the dice that might come through. Sakala, Enoch, Jr. And offside. So, this probably wraps up what has been uh, an All-Stars versus the rest, Tandika. Yeah, sadly, it has ended in a stalemate 1-1. One, one. one would have relished there should have been a form of a tie, either extra time or penalties to decide who would be the ultimate winner. But as things stand, uh, the Chanit uh, uh, provisional team has been challenged and the team to gain in this case is the fan select team, which has forced a draw. And so we've come to the end of uh, what has been an exciting game. And it has only been set out by 1-0. Really, the fans, some of them demanding that uh, they would want uh, a winner to be decided. So it all started with Clement Muape who scored uh, the goal in the 30th minute and uh, that was cancelled out uh, later on by Moses P who had come in Mwape, the player on the screen is the one that uh, did put the rest
in the lead before that was cancelled out later on by Moses P. So after all is said and done here at uh, the Coloma Stadium, a day of fine football and a real stand test for the All-Stars team that will be going to Cameroon for the Chan tournament. It has ended. All-Stars won. The rest won. Join us next time and goodbye for now.